Hey yo guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're going to be giving you guys our final review of the new Tool album, Fear Inoculum. So after listening to this album for an entire week, Vial, what are your thoughts? This album grew on me quite a bit, but I don't love the album. I feel unfair giving a review of this album, I really do, because this this has never been a band that I really loved or got into that much. They've kind of always been background chill music for me. They do have moments that I do like. Um, I just don't feel like my opinion overall is, is that fair to listen to, but I'll give it anyway because that's what this channel is about. And I'm a little bit harsh when I, when I give opinions sometimes, you guys probably know that if you guys watch this channel. But I found this album extremely boring. And there's a few good parts peppered in throughout the album, but the sections between those good parts are just so long and so drawn out and so unnecessary. And I get the point, I get why other people might like it and that's cool, but for me it just doesn't work. Some highlights for me are um, Numa, song number two which is a song that grew on me pretty fast, um, mainly because the beginning sounds like Heart Shaped Box. It's the same chords as Heart Shaped Box, just played differently. But when that comes on, I'm like, oh yeah, this is that song. And then the song kicks in. It's, got a, it's, it's probably one of the heavier songs on the album as far as the way the grooves go and things like that. So that one got to me. Um, Invincible, which is track number four, is another one that grew on me. Um, and title track, Fear Inoculum, that song also grew on me mainly because of the vocals. I really started getting into Maynard's vocals on that song. Um, just some, some really nice cadence in his vocals and some nice fluctuation in his voice. Like that stuff. But everything else just kind of felt almost the same. Like, it was really hard to distinguish. Like, if you just put this album on and just hit play and it just starts at a random spot, you probably won't know where it's at. But for me, anyway, because it just, the songs are so long and are so sectioned. It's hard to determine which section belongs to which song, because they're all so random. I don't know, I, I was completely lost basically listening to a lot of it. I just kind of had it on loop, the whole album on loop all week. And it just felt like uh, just a carousel of just random noises. There's a lot, they, they put a lot into the album. You know, there's a lot of different, you know, drums for example. You hear congas, bongos, doombecks, you hear like all kinds of different things. Um, Kerry goes ham on the drums on this album. Uh, not to the point where it really impressed me though. Like he's doing a lot, he's very busy, but it's all very kind of standard stuff when it comes to like soloing and drummers that go ham. I don't know, I just feel like I've heard this stuff a million times before. I don't know, it didn't seem fresh, it didn't seem new, it didn't have a wow factor to it even though it's, it's busy. Um, so it's like a positive and a negative at the same time. Well, I will say that Danny Carey is like the highlight of the personnel for this album. Like he does a lot and he does it really well. And especially with the, with the literal drum solo on this album, Chocolate Chip Trip. Like even though you can listen to it enough times that the depth won't feel like it's there anymore, it's still you hear it and it's like, wow, this guy's going nuts. It sounds really cool. Like it's a good solo. And it's something that would be really awesome to hear live as well. It's a good solo and it would be awesome to hear live, but the the noises, the weird synthy sound effects that are happening in the background of the solo almost ruined the whole thing for me. Like it's not something that I can like, it like hurts my ears right now, but it's almost intolerable. It's just this weird like, uneasy tone happening, I don't even know what it is. But. My only real issue with that song is that it takes a bit to kick in, you know? It has like a little bit of an intro and then the noise starts and then the solo starts. Like I kind of like, when the song comes on, I'm like, well, let me get to the solo already, which yeah. ties into really my main complaint about this album. Because for me, this is a good album. Honestly, like I really liked a lot about it, but I feel like the biggest downfall is the structure of every song, yeah. except for Tempest. That's basically what I'm trying. What I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, because every song, barring Tempest and Chocolate Chip Trip, starts out one way, goes up, and then like straight down, 
And then the next song has the exact same structure, so the yeah. song, the album doesn't feel like it has a good flow to it. Yeah. It doesn't really have a good contour. And in comparison, you look at an album like Lateralis, which it starts somewhere and then it constantly goes back and forth. It mm. doesn't have like one structure that keeps happening in every song that you hear. Yeah. Because that kind of, you know, it makes the album a little bit stagnant. That being said, I didn't feel like the songs blended together. I felt like every song has something really cool about it that will stand out. Yeah, but what you're saying is more like what I was trying to convey is that every song just has the same pattern to it, so they all kind of fit the same blueprint is kind of what I was going with. But they do have different things about them that are really cool. Like, I found yeah. myself really jiving with the melodies in Numa and in Invincible as well. Um, I believe there was like a really cool little guitar part that had a dual guitar and I think it was Descending that had yeah. that as well. Uh, the title track honestly had a lot of cool drum stuff in it as well. Like it, there's a lot of really cool moments on the album yep. and it's not like I was disliking it when I was listening to it. I was putting it on I'm like yeah this is pretty cool. It just, it got to a point where nothing was really like wowing me. Mm -hmm. Nothing was really standing out hard but it was still solid. Like the musicianship is great. And that's one thing about this band that's really cool is that the jams are great. Like they just straight up jam it out sometimes and it yeah. sounds awesome. And yeah. I feel like for some people, it might be a better experience for them if they tried to listen to Tool without all the ambient stuff. If it was, if it was just like the jamming for them, I think a lot of people would appreciate that more. In my case, I don't mind the ambient stuff. That adds a lot of atmosphere to it. It's just for this album, I feel like the structure is kind of the same for almost every song. So it kind of hurts the experience in it for a bit. Mm. But Tempest is different because it doesn't do that. It yep. not only sounds like classic Tool, first of all, but second of all, it doesn't have the same structure as everything else. It's yep. different. And I feel like if you took two more songs on this album, like let's say Numa and Invincible had a similar structure to Tempest, or maybe Numa and Descending, then the album would be so much better because it would have more of a contour it would feel like you're going back and forth between different kind of structures of music as opposed to having one structure for one, two, three, four, five tracks and then a cool drum solo and then a different song. Yeah, and, you, and then Tempest is a song that we talked about in our first impressions as a, as a standout song. Everybody I talked to about this album throughout the week mentioned that song as their go-to song. So I think it's probably pretty clear that that's a fan favorite and it's it's almost shameful that they didn't use more of that style throughout the album because that's obviously the one that's resonating with people the most. Yeah. At least from, from my perspective and other people that I've talked to. Um, so yeah, it's a shame that they didn't, they didn't do more like that. Yeah, but even then, it's like, I'm not saying that all the other tracks are bad. I'm just saying they all have the same structure, which is a negative for the album, but the songs still have really cool moments that I enjoy. And it's interesting to note that the physical version of this album doesn't have all the filler stuff that we mentioned last week. Yeah. So we're, we're using that as our definitive version of the album when it comes to like considering it for our review. Right. It's only the digital versions that have those tracks, which is really strange. But honestly, I'm glad because if those were just straight up part of the album, that would be a massive negative, in my opinion, because yeah. they would just add to just dead space. It's true. Um... Yeah, I don't think I have much more to add. You wanna, you wanna rate it? Yeah, so this album is honestly solid. I really like the musicianship. I really like what they're doing. The only thing that was really keeping it from me is just the structure of everything was pretty similar, as I mentioned, and it just didn't really like grasp me. It didn't really open my mind and surprise me every time I listened to it. So this album gets a seven for me because it's honestly solid. And songs like Tempest are pretty rad. I guess the, the first digit of that song is pretty accurate for the rating I give this a seven. A seven. Cool. Um, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like I've said everything I need to say already. I don't want to just repeat myself like blah, 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 Tempest, blah, 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 Numa, <laughs> blah, 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 Invincible, 5.5. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Straightforward. That's, to the that's point. That's what I got. I like that. Um, yeah, it's 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 kind of middle of the pack for me, but I did enjoy it more towards the end of the week, and there's certain parts of the album where I do kind of get into it and start grooving with it. So it gets a little bit more of a, of a bump-up score for me for those reasons, but I didn't think it was that strong of an album. Um, more boring than anything. 5.5 for me. 7 from TV Fish. 
Cage. I mean, you know, I think you should definitely check the album out. I don't know if I can say the same. I would say check it out. Don't ever, don't ever take my my rating if it's poor and say, oh, I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna listen to it because Vile doesn't <laughs> like it. Never ever do that. Always, always, always listen to the albums that we listen to and let us know in the comments below what you guys think. If you agree with me, if you agree with TV Fish, or maybe you have your own completely different opinion, we always want to hear from you guys. Yep, that's for sure. Remember to like the video if you like it, guys. Subscribe if you are new to the channel to see more metal goodness. I'm TV Fish. And I'm Vile Self. We'll see you guys later. Keep those horns way up.